Pinocchio, a small wooden boy battling with the dangers of the human world and his habit of lying. To the joy of his loving father Geppetto, he overcomes these dangers and becomes a real boy. Is this story full of paternal love and dreams come true, told the right way? The old woodcarver Geppetto lived in his house with only his tomcat and fish. The lonely man wished most of all to have a son, so he made a puppet out of a small boy. The wooden puppet came to life overnight. Is it possible for a piece of wood to act so alive? Clearly wood cannot act like a human. On the other hand, people can sometimes have wood-like qualities. We have many phrases like strong as an oak, thick as two short planks, or peg legs. Most likely what happened here was misinterpretation and Pinocchio was just stiff as a board. Geppetto was raising the restless child all by himself. No wonder the boy's behavior started getting out of control. Pinocchio was insolent and he lied repeatedly. He would go to the theater instead of to his school. Currently, absenteeism is treated as a criminal offense leading to child endangerment. The boy may have inadvertently put his father in conflict with the law. The theater environment enchanted the boy so much that he became a member of the theater company. Pinocchio's interest in show business raises some questions. There are even theories questioning his sexual orientation. Homosexuality is no longer classified as a psychological disorder and is generally accepted. Gays are often sensitive and have artistic inclinations. The old woodcarver's dirty workshop, where Pinocchio was forced to live, is definitely not ideal for a small homosexual boy. He must have felt he didn't belong in this world. That might have been the reason for the boy's constant frustration that resulted in him running away from home. Pinocchio's absenteeism might have been motivated also by fear of his classmates. If he had to face comments and bullying because of his sexual orientation, it is understandable he avoided school. Was this the cause of Pinocchio's unmanageable behavior? Isn't the truth much darker than it might seem at first? To understand the problem in its complexity, we need to go back to the very beginning. The story mentions a cricket that often talks to Pinocchio. Is something like that even possible? Imaginary friends are quite common with small children and they usually disappear before the first grade of school. But if the imaginary friends keep appearing, it might be a sign of further problems. Mental health problems in a child usually have something to do with dysfunctions inside the family. Woodcarver Geppetto wished most of all to have a son. The question is, why? Was it his loneliness? Why didn't he wish for a decent wife to share his hobbies with? He already had a tomcat and a fish, so he wasn't without some company. Geppetto's desire for a boy is very suspicious, to say the least. There is also the dubious account of the growing nose. Instant growth of the nose, post lie, is scientifically impossible. The question is, was the growing organ really a nose? An old man and his desire for a small boy, the boy's mental illness, a growing organ. We have substantial reasons to assume that Pinocchio was sexually abused by Geppetto. Excessive affection or erotic inclination towards children is a deviation described by the technical term Pedophilia. It's enough to just look at the very name Geppetto. If we remove the prefix je, replace te with da, and add the suffix file, we get the word pedophile. Coincidence? I don't think so. Sexual abuse by a legal guardian carries the justifiable punishment of two to ten years in prison. This explanation sheds new light on the boy's lying. Was Pinocchio really a chronic liar? The man was repeatedly telling the boy he was lying. He probably wanted to undermine his self-confidence and convince him that no one would believe him if he told anyone about their little secret. This is the kind of psychological abuse typical of domestic violence. It's a case of abuse by an entrusted person, and the offender faces up to eight years in jail without parole. 
Is it possible that Pinocchio's uncontrollable behavior was caused by sexual abuse? Some leads say yes. It seems that even fairy tales have their dark secrets. Geppetto belongs among the most disgusting deviants in fairy tale history.